Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see what is the repository and what is version control in Azure DevOps. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen about the Azure boards and Azure DevOps. Basically a website we have gone through like how we create the organization and the project and different type of the process. And apart from this, we have seen the board for the different type of the process. So before proceeding with this tutorial, I recommend you please watch previous tutorials so you, you can understand uh, with this tutorial because we are going to create a repository and the, we will understand the version control and we will see like how the board with the uh, basically Azure board is useful with the repository and the versioning control. So let's understand like basically what is the repository. So repository is just like a container of the project code. So what we can say repository is like a folder for our project. A project repository contain all of our project files and store each file revision history. So what is the meaning of this like? Uh, suppose we have taken a repository. So that repository is basically like currently we are working for a version one. So there will be one folder called related to the specific project name like Azure DevOps project. So there will be one folder like Azure DevOps version one. So whatever the developer is working for the version one, they can uh, push the code into that particular repository or we can say like particular folder now after releasing of this version what repository or do or what the devops developer do they create another folder or what they do they take a replica of that existing folder with the new folder and when the developer start working on the version 2 they start going to pushing that code into the version 2 so it is trying to say like project file and store each file revision history so repository contain the revision history so that is the use of the revision basically and that is very useful for the uh, versioning history and we can also manage uh, like project work within the repository so here as I explained like here I am saying about to create the folder but here what I am trying to say if you don't want to create the folder even we can keep the code inside the repository but folder is uh, like it's a good practice if we have the folder under this repository because in future if we are going to implement any other project or any other version of that project then it will be helpful to differentiate the code and Azure repository is set of version control tool that can be used to manage our code. So as I explained, like it's a versioning control, like different type of version we can manage under the repository. So it is useful to manage the code and it is help us to manage the code in the systematic way. So in this kind of scenario, generally repository is useful to manage our code. Now, next thing is like, what is the versioning control so versioning control enable enable us to track changes we make in our code over time like what happened like uh, if we are making our changes like day by day um, as per the requirement and we can say like uh, to track those changes we use the version control or what we can say like it is used to track or manage the every code changes done by the team member so that's why this is very helpful you know, to tracking the changes and to manage the code we need version control software so as i explained you know, like and every time if the developer is going to changes and to track everything like who uh, uh, like what the code changes done by particular developer and like um, where we are facing the issue so all these things can be taken with the version control software we can use the version control system to keep track of each changes done by each developer and like safely merge them, test the changes and publish the changes into the production. So that's why version control is required. So what happened like if developer, if we are not having the version control, then developer what they do, they directly push the code into the production. So it can damage our production 
code basically and it it is a chance or it is a risk like our uh, um like the website stop working so what happened in one version control we push the changes into one repository or that version control software so that version control software what they do uh, like it uh, tags the changes and after everything is fine then it publishes the changes into the production so that's why this version control is needed so in the market there are so many software is available uh, to enable the version control on our code so it uh, our requirement or it our like project needed we can choose any version control to manage or to track the code changes so basically like in azure devops there are two type of the version control is available one is the git that is basically a distributed version control and another is the team foundation version control or we can say tfs is a centralized version control so these are the two major uh, like uh, repo or we can say like version control is available into the azure repos or azure devops to manage the like version control like the to track the code changes so we will understand in briefly like what is git and what is team foundation version control in the coming tutorial so in this tutorial we have seen like what is the repository so basically repository is used to keep the code in, into the one repo and what is the version control like it is used to track the changes whatever the changes done in into the code side by the developer so that's why this version control is needed so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you